It's a factory bustling with activity, with workers pouring liquid plaster onto molds, painting, refining, and creating all kinds of different designs. It's a very manual process. This mass factory in central Mexico has been busier than ever in the last few months. And it's all thanks to the unexpected popularity of not a Mexican, but an American presidential candidate. Take a look at the strands of artificial hair neatly placed and coiffed by this worker. We, we weren't making this mask with actual hair, but uh, some of our customers asked for it. It's got to be the hair. Yeah, it, it's got to be the hair. <laughs> so this is the deluxe version. You've probably already guessed, it's Donald Trump's mask. Definitely. And this factory executive believes demand will only grow in the next few months. We think maybe because of the poll that he will be the candidate. The last shipment of the Donald Trump mask came out of this factory two weeks ago. It was 10,000 masks. 80% of them were sold in the United States and the rest here in Mexico. There's only one mask beating Donald Trump's in sales, that of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the drug lord captured in January after a spectacular tunnel escape from prison last summer. The mask that comes with a prison outfit has been flying off the shelves. Yeah, totally sold out. We sold uh, El Chapo masks and customs uh, all in all Mexican territory, in all America, U.S. Uh, territory, and. We sold in Australia, for example. Wait, 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 El Chapo mask being sold in Australia? Yeah. There's still a chance for Trump to compete with El Chapo, Esponda says, but only if he can win the Republican Party's presidential nomination. The great irony, making a fortune off two highly controversial men whose only thing in common is dominating the headlines. Rafael Romo, CNN, Jutepec, Mexico.